Hey, what is up, dear people of the internet? My name is Bear, and today I am doing another episode of Pokemon Heart Gold. I am freaking excited. This is for you, episode 4. Uh, so, quickly, before this video starts, uh, or well, yeah, before I get into this video, I have to quickly say that I already did episode 4. In episode 4, I got a Marie, so we call them a Marie. Uh, we, beat, we have beaten the Bell Sprout Tower in Violet City because that's where we left off. Um, I'm terribly sorry this episode is late as well. It's because I'm recording it on the day it's supposed to go out. But yeah, the um, so that's the only thing that you missed, uh, which which was episode 4. So that's technically episode 5, but I'm just gonna call it episode 4. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoy and uh, let's get into this. <laughs> Alright, we're in game. So let's actually see what all right, so yeah, like I said, Mareep is right here, and I'm gonna watch my... Okay, so w what happened with the previous recording was uh, my microphone fudged up like a quarter in the recording, so I will show you like a little snippet what happened. All right, we have vamp level 6. All right, you know what? I will see you when I actually encounter the Pokemon I want to encounter here. It is, yeah, it, it's it's quite awkward. It's quite awkward, but yeah, it's freaking dumb. I don't know how it happened, but we got this Marie, which has a docile nature. I mean, it's fine. Docile is not a bad nature. It's just regular. And I think it has really good IVs and special attacks, so I'm quite happy with that. Um, a croc has, has like a really good nature. So I think we might actually be ready for the gym. Question mark. I'm first gonna explore a little bit further just in case uh, There is like I don't like I don't want to be under leveled for the gym. So That's the only reason we're gonna we're gonna walk down here. I reckon Ooh, Let's get this let's get this apricorn There we go easy enough Yellow apricorn. All right, let's continue the move on. Um, by the way, new merch is out. Be sure to check that out. I'm pretty sure I've already put that in front of this video, but it's okay. Um, so yeah, I hope that's all right. Oh, I, we can go there. I'm pretty sure. What's the hurry? Pokemon gym, blah blah blah. Okay. So by the way, this is where we called the Mareep. Uh, I also announced my full team, which I'm gonna use in this uh, playthrough. Which actually is, let me get that up right now, give me a second. Alright, so the full team I'm gonna use is Freligator, Crobat, Ampharos, Arcanine, Jinx, and Heracross. Uh, I think it would be a good team, and uh, I also have some movesets and natures ready for it, but I don't know if I will be able to get those natures, because I don't wanna, like, like spend a lot of time on that, since it's just... Just it's just the, the story and the story's not that hard to play through so Ooh the Ruins of Elf I'm pretty sure. Alright, let's check out the Ruins of Elf. Ruins of Elf, alright. Looks quite interesting. Hey, hey, we found a great ball. I just randomly like this is why you check rocks. I know it doesn't make sense, but it's alright. It's totally alright. Let's see what's up here. Right, let's see. That's just a research house, I'm pretty sure. Maybe. Alright. Wait, what was this guy? Oh, visitor, see, you got me. Uh, excited for nothing. Wow, what a jack. Uh, the ruins are 1,500 years old. That's all we knew about them. Uh, yeah, alright. Old patterns, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. Uh, you didn't miss too much in the previous episode. We just got through the ruins of Elf. Uh, no, what, what am I saying? No, we got through the... Um, the belt, the Sprout Tower, which is on top of Violet City. It was just a, a lot of training. We got the TM, TM Flash, we got a Mareep, and we leveled a bunch. So that's about it. You didn't miss that much. I don't think I'm gonna go down there. Like, the runes and all of all are great and all. I can do something later here, I'm pretty sure. Oh. 
This is, well, this is interesting. I think this is where you do the stone panel thing, isn't it? All right, let's see. All right. Um, so I'm pretty sure you do it like this. All right. Yeah? Yeah, all right. Wait, what the frick? How does that work? Oh, you switch those around? Or what's the deal? What the fooch? <laughs> Oh, you just tap them. Oh, it's tapping. All right. That makes way more sense. All right, there we go. And then... Here we go. Fixed. What's happening? All right, let's save real quick. So I just sold the stone puzzle. That's wonderful. You seem to have the talent for archaeology. I'll give you a known report. The record shown as unknown as you capture them. It shows. Wait. It records unknown as you capture them and show will come in handy. All right. So I think it's glitched or something. So there's a strange presence here. What's that supposed to mean? I think the top screen glitched because it's keep in mind it's an emulator I'm playing on so <laughs> All right, here we are we are back in the unknown cave apparently a strange presence has popped up There we go. There's a gnomes here now I don't think I'm gonna capture them because they there's no use literally uh, I think they're what side are they? Or a ghost. Or no, they're psychic. I don't even know what they are. You don't like unknowns are not useful at all, by the way. Just pointing it out there. Did it give a lot of XP though? The question. I might actually start skipping battles once like just for the sake of the speed of the playthrough. So like that I might start skipping freaking battles all right all right pokemon wants to leave me alone for a bit that would be great but they won't all right so we are back just running okay we might actually make the ladder no we won't we won't obviously not all right i think we're done here so let's go up are you kidding me i was one step away all right I, i'm not gonna skip this battle there you go that's an unknown um i, I don't even know is that unknown z like i can't read unknown i can't read what they are Sometimes, some some I can actually. But this one seems to be a seems to be a Z or a Y question mark? No. That's such a weird one. No, the Z definitely looks different. What's this one though? I can't tell, like. Apparently we need to catch them all, but that's for later, I think. I'm not gonna do that right now. I know unknowns are from Hoenn, which makes it even in more interesting. And I think they can make you go to Sinnoh. Yeah, you can travel to Sinnoh later in the game, so that's that's definitely interesting. All right, where does this lead? Are you you come out of here? All right, okay, okay, that's that's nice. So what about this? Is this like is this does this open? I'm pretty sure that opens like. Wait, what are? Does this have an item? No. How about this? No? Alright, so I think the national park is here. So let's actually go to the national park. Let's talk to this guy. Do you see the strange tree in a row? Maybe fewer people. Wait, may I explain why fewer people are visiting the ruins of Elf? Ruins of Elf, an ancient tradition made of stones. Don't you wonder who makes who makes something like this and why? Good cash good question. I think they never really told us, but that makes sense that nobody tells us. Troubling having the boulder blocking the way, obviously you have. Oh, uh, here's HM. Oh, there we go. This is where you get strength, folks. Strength, folks. A oh, rock smash. If you need rock smash, you go to this guy. Easy peasy. I think you need the first gym match, though. Oh, we got a heart stone. So many items in this round. 
We don't have stone type Pokemon though, so it's no use for us. Let's check there. I think I think over here is the pseudo Wudo. Yeah, you need a Wilmar pill for that one. Oh, I used to love that. Pseudo Wudo has a strong Pokemon, but I don't, I'm not gonna use it. It's not the Pokemon for me. It is definitely a good Pokemon though, so. If you're playing this, I recommend using him. But um, I already named the, the full people, or the full um, t team I'm going to use. But once again, that is Ferelegator. Um, and then we have Crobat, which is my Zubat right now. And then we have Enfros, which is my Mareep right now. So I already have half of my team complete. Then I still need a Growlithe for an Arcanine. Then we're going to get a Jinx in the Ice Path way later on. But like a Jinx will sweep through Claire's um, team. And it will help at the Elite Four for lands and all that good stuff. Then we have Heracross, which is um, going to be great, actually. Uh, I also have all the routes for all the Pokemon I need. Let me actually check real quick how you... If I can get them. Uh, my microphone's still working, so that's a good thing. All right, let's talk to this guy. Uh, everything's still recording. Wait, nicknames? His name is... It's called Strawberry. All right, where do I nickname my Pokemon? Does this guy give me nicknames? No? All right. Um, okay, so... I thought it was somewhere here, though. Like, route... Frick. Just get out of here. Route 36, yeah, yeah. I do need to go this way. But you need to go all the way over there to... Yeah, we need to go there to get Growlithe. You need to see the wood out of the way. All right, that's fine. Um, we'll get there. We'll get there. Well, I, I'm not worried about that. We we have a strong. Well, we have quite a large team as it is right now. Let's go buy some items because. Um, okay, so in a previous episode, I set myself the challenge: if I go into a building, so for example, the Sprout ta Sprout Tower or a gym or a Team Rocket hideout, or whatever, uh, I need to complete it without going to the Poké Center. That's the challenge I'm gonna set for my playthrough. So, uh, let me know if you think that's a good idea, because it's not set in stone yet. But I'm definitely gonna do it for the gym in a bit, so that's why I need enough potions. Um, so, that just makes the playthrough a little more interesting, and I think it will be kind of more fun to watch, it sets the stakes a little high. Like, it, you lose money when you black out, so, like, oh, it would be quite, quite interesting. Uh, I think it's time to take on the gym, actually. I hope you guys are ready. I hope I am ready. The 3D effects, boys. This is, don't forget, this game was made way back. Like, actually, I'm talking way, way back. Um, it's great. Let's save. I'll see you in a bit. And we are back. All right, let's, let's move up. All right, so, oh my god, that's fancy, isn't it? All right, let's battle this guy. So we can't get out of here unless... So I need to beat two trainers and then beat Faulkner straight after that. So if I mess up, then I'm I'm actually done for. All right, I'm actually going to take out my timetable just to be safe. Oh. Timetable, I said. No, it's a type table. Frickin' A. Uh, Spearow is just a flying type, if I'm correct. So against flying, you would use... Electricity, ice, or a rock. I, mm, I have electricity, but I think I'm just gonna call, just gonna use a supersonic until it works, and then I might switch out to uh, Marie because Marie would be a great sport in this gym. And also, I'm just gonna try and keep the flow of the levels natural, so just use whatever is good against that opponent, um, and not gonna make it like my because i always do it really ocd like my um what do you call it my starter needs to be two levels ahead of the freaking uh of the other pokemon which he is right now so that make, doesn't make me look any better but um yeah i'm not gonna do that if they're if, if somebody's gonna get a higher level than my starter and that's fine with me i don't care i'm just gonna use whatever is good at that moment of time so right now I use obviously I would use Marie because he is strong against flying types. 
Um, but I just want to get that confusion off to make it a little easier for myself. There we go, that's that's the easy drag. Alright, here we go. Vamp gain. Oh, there we go, Vamp's level. They're the same level, I so that's good though. That's just one Pokemon, are you joking? Okay. No complaining, no complaining. I think we can take this out without a save. Like, I don't need to save for this guy. Alright. I think you're a big shot. I'm a big shot for sure, dude. Don't worry about it. Bum, bum. Oh, it's Bird Keeper Rob. Let's go, boys. Here we go. A Pidgey. Oh, boys. I'm excited. Gonna be a great battle. Ah, oh, frick, it missed. Wait, so what if you used Bug type, right? Against... Um, against flying. It's actually not very effective, I think. Yeah, it's not very effective. That's... Huh. That's interesting. Frick, I keep missing. Stop tackling me. There we go. Done. Let's switch again. Let's keep... Let's keep the switch going. Keep the switch going. Nintendo Switch boys. Nintendo Switch boys. <laughs> Shameless plug. I'm kidding. Well, it's a great console though. That's why I'm like I don't. Yeah. I wish I got sponsored by Nintendo. All right, fix it. Don't worry. I got this. Let's switch out again. Boom. 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 You gotta love the music, man. So old school. Heard it sound with confusion, that's what we want. Uh, let's do a Thundershock real quick. It's faster? Uh, Fla uh, Marib isn't the fastest Pokemon, so it makes sense. It's level 7. Ah, uh, this is quite easy. Mm hmm. 40 XP, not too much. Send out another Pidgey, sure. I'll send out Famp again. All right, there we go. Vamp going in. There's the Pidgey. This is not too hard so far. We might actually be able to do this without healing. Oh no, the accuracy for Supersonic is not good as it is, but we hit it anyway, which is amazing. We got the Supersonic of Pidgey became confused. Pidgey is confused. What does he do? He pulled through it and used Sand Attack. Sand Attack lowered the accuracy of Vamp, which doesn't matter because the Vamp is going to be switched out for Mareep. Mareep will be sent out out of its Pokeball right now. Go Mareep! Um, Pidgey is still confused, but Pidgey is going to use Sand Attack on Mareep. Mareep accuracy is lower. That's kind of a bad thing, but maybe he'll pull through. Pidgey stepped out of, uh, out of confusion and attacked through it. How did he do it? He didn't even he didn't even suffer from it once. And Pidgey got hit straight with a Thunder Shock. It was a 1KO. It was easy enough. Vamp gained some experience. Mareep gained some experience. Bird Keeper Rod is taken out. Alright. So with that out of the way, let's do a quick save. Give me a sec. Alright. So after that save, we are ready to take on Faulkner. Uh, with, and he is saying, I am Faulkner, the Violet City Pokemon Gym Leader. Uh, people say you can can clip flying type Pokemon wings with with a jolt of electricity. Uh, it won't allow. I won't allow such insults to bird Pokemon. I'll show you the real power of mag magnificent bird Pokemon. <laughs> My electricity will take you out, Faulkner. Don't worry. I didn't heal. Great. I'm, a, I'm the best Pokemon trainer alive. All right, Faulkner. Let's see what you have in store. Faulkner sent out a Pidgey, which is level 9, and uh, Vamp goes out on bare side of the battlefield. Uh, Vamp is level 11 and used Supersonic, which is an immediate hit, which is quite hard to pull off with the rates of the Supersonic uh, for accuracy. Uh, Pidgey hit itself, hurt itself in confusion, which is really convenient for Bear Bear. Sends out Mareep. Mareep will be sent out right now. He's in charge. Pidgey snapped out of confusion immediately after one time. That's insane. And hit a tackle. Mareep is down to yellow health, which isn't good. And he hit it again because the Pidgey is faster from Faulkner. But Mareep used Thundershock. And it was a 1k. Oh, Pidgey is taken out of the field right now. 
Van Gogh some experience. Marib got some experience as well. Pijoto is being sent out of the field whilst Bear keeps Marib on the field because it's an electricity type. Uh, the wind is finally with us, Falkner says. Marib, uh, Pijoto used to tackle but missed. Whilst Marib used Thunder Shock will be a 1 kill is the question though. It's level 13. It's definitely not a 1 KO. It's not even close to being a 1 KO. Pichota used tackle again. Will it take out Marib? It took out Marib with one hit. This is insane, folks. This is insane. Vamp is being sent out in the field by Bear. Uh, Vamp used uh, Supersonic. Oh, Vamp is not faster than Pichota. Pichota is a really fast Pokemon, to be fair. Vamp used Supersonic to gain that little bit of the upper hand against Pichota. Uh What is Bear gonna use? Bear is gonna use Leech Leaf to attack Pijoto while it's in confusion. It hurt itself in confusion, that's good for Bear. Bear used Leech, Le Leech Life. It is healing a Vamp a little bit, but it's not very effective. We can still fly. Pijoto is still a normal type, if I'm correct, so this should probably not work. Even though Pijoto. Oh, Pijoto hit straight through it. Vamp is being taken out, is not gonna gain any experience from this kill if he gets it. For now, it's Croc against Pijoto, who will win. Pijoto is faster than Croc though, which might be bad for Croc. Though, even though the bite is being pulled off and it is a critical hit. Pijoto is being taken out of the field, which gives the win to Bear, that's the GG. All right, whilst Croc gains another level. That's amazing, folks. Player defeated, Jim, leader, Faulkner. I don't understand. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I got some serious money for the winning guys. That's awesome. For pity's sake, my dad cherished bird Pokemon. But a defeat is a defeat, all right? Take this official Pokemon League badge. Uh, this one is a Sapphire badge. I received the Sapphire badge from Faulkner. With that badge, uh, Pokemon includes... Including trade traded Pokemon up to level 20 will obey you without question um, It also enables you to use hidden moves like rock smash anytime outside of battles got a TM from Faulkner Which is the TM though? This TM will instantly learn a new move blah, blah, blah. TM contains roost um, I don't think I'm gonna use that one All right Appreciated Faulkner bird keepers for life mate all right, so let's go down to the field and heal up the pokes because, oh, we got called by Prof. Elm. Hello, Bear. We've discovered something. The details are, well, I can't really say anything, but we want you to carry that egg. My assistant is in the Pokemart near Violet City. You can go meet up with him to get that egg. All right, so we're getting an egg, boys. All right, hit me up with that egg. There he is. Nah, I don't really want the Toga be on my team, really. I know. I mean, you can get Toga Kiss in this game, but do I really want a Toga Kiss? Not really. I'm not. I'm not up for that. Nah, I already have my team like stretched out for me, and I think it will be normal type anyway because the Fairy type doesn't exist in this game. So, oh, what? It's a Kimono girl. Oh my, dot dot dot, that egg must be dot dot dot, I see dot dot dot, so it was used, so it was handed from Mr. Pokemon to Professor Elm and then from Professor Elm to you, now I get it dot dot dot, this egg true is a truly important egg, please do take good care of it for me, is that understood, dances, I'm counting on you, alright, thank you kimono girl, it's not an important egg, what are people saying, it's just a togepi, are you joke, it's just a Pokemon egg. I know it's a Togepi, but like... Ugh. Why do people make such a big deal out of it? Alright, let's go in here. Um, let's heal- let's heal up the Pokes. Yeah, let's- let's heal, let's go. Oh, we let- Oh, that's bad for the friendship on Zubat, by the way. Shouldn't let it- shouldn't let it faint. Alright, here we go. Fam's feeling better, so Fam decided to go behind you. 
Your Pokemon's looking around you restlessly. Why? All right, so with that out of the way, we can get Rock Smash? Question mark? I oh, know we can go down there. Uh, oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, I know where to go. Don't worry, guys. I got this. You go down here. Uh, wait, how long have I been recording for? Half an hour-ish? I don't know. Do I end it? What's up? What's the hurry? I still have some good Pokemon there. Traveling via the city. Especially helpful as a souvenir. Take this. Oh, a miracle seed. Appreciate it. Like, I don't have any grass Pokemon, but I appreciate it. All right. So, um, do I continue from here? I think. I mean, we have half an hour, so I think I will do for this episode. So, on that note, I want to thank you guys for watching. Be sure to drop a like rating down below. Go click it. I forgot to say it actually. So. Drop a like rating right now. Let's go. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it for the win. And um, also, be sure to check out the merch. I'm gonna say it again. Be sure it's in the description. Go check it out. It's awesome and stuff. And I mean, if you want one, you can pick one up. And also, um, yeah, let's do a, let's do a, a like sentence of the episode. If you came this far into the episode, you hit the end, then be sure to say good job on the gym. And then that's it. Then I will know you you came this far into the video and other people won't expect a thing. So, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone. Next episode will be out, by the way, on... Um, next... Well, let me know, actually. When do you want me to bring out the next episode? I reckon I'm gonna do it on the... Um, Monday, maybe? Tuesday? Tuesday, probably. Alright, so I'll see you Tuesday. Bye-bye, everyone.